Hi guys, hope everyone's really well. Uh, just coming at you with a quick review, just to coincide with the release and more importantly, man me managing to get hold of the uh, new keel and 2 plus 1 fins from Rob Machado. Uh, Rob seems to be the, uh, the in-form shaper at the minute that everyone's keen on, so uh, I was always going to get the keel fins, so I managed to get hold of some of his keel fins, but I also decided to grab the 2, po two plus 1s. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on how they differ from what's already out there and why you might want to choose them and why you might not want to choose them. So uh, yeah, just to help you guys out. So as you can see, that's the 2 plus 1. Uh, the 2 plus 1 and the keel fin both come in this beautiful black fade and they've got a wooden insert in the inside, but uh, there's still uh, there's still actually a little bit of flex in the tip, so they're not super, super stiff. They're not as stiff as they look, which is really good. Uh, so into the 2 plus 1, as you all know, if you ride a 2 plus 1, you're going to get a loose and drivey board. I've personally not been a huge fan of 2 plus 1s generally. I've actually got these 2 plus 1s to give them a go as a... 2 plus 2 in one of my other boards, so I'll probably I'll probably pair those fronts up with uh, with another pair of very small quad rears just to see how they go because I've been liking that setup in my uh, beanbag. So uh, yeah, the big thing I would say with these Machado 2 plus 1s is this is the smallest front 2 plus 1 setup that there is. So uh, that's kind of okay for me because as I say, I'm probably going to try those with, with some quad setups or maybe even a slightly bigger rear trailer but what you'll find is the front fins are smaller than anything else in the range and the back trailer fin is bigger than anything else in the range so uh if you've got maybe a seaside and the smaller side sizes or you've got a you've got a midas or you've got a moonbeam uh and you're not a hugely heavy surfer i'd say probably depends on what you like but i'd say depending on the size of board you ride and if you're riding a reasonable volume for your weight uh, you're probably going to be looking at wanting to be, I'd say you probably want to be under 80, maybe even under 85 for, for these as a 2 plus 1. And uh, if you're a lighter surfer or you're riding a relatively low volume compared to your weight, you can probably be fine with those. Uh, so yeah, the big difference is, this is the Merricks and this is the MRs. So the Merricks are currently the smallest 2 plus 1 in the range, or were until the Machados came out. And then the uh, the MRs are slightly bigger. So I'll just show you. Here's a, there's the Merrick, there's the Merrick. Here's the MR compared with the Merrick. So the MR is just slightly bigger, not hugely, but the MR is slightly bigger. So if you've already got a Merrick and you want to go up in size a bit, you're probably going to go with the MR. And uh, then this is going to be the smallest one. So I'm going to show you compared to the Merrick, this is quite a little bit smaller fin. It's definitely not got the same depth as the Merrick and it's definitely got a little bit less surface area than the Merrick. So if you found most of these two plus ones too big for you, these could be really good for you. And uh, if you found them too small for you, they're probably not gonna be ideal. But again, you're gonna get a lot more control out of this than that. So here's the, uh, here's, the here's that compared with the MR. So as you can see, the uh, the Machado is quite a bit smaller than the MR. So if you smaller guys that have been finding any of these two plus ones a bit big for you, or you actually want a bit more control, you're probably gonna really like this Machado. Uh, it's fairly upright, it's got a really nice shape. It's uh, it's lent back, but not too raked. Uh, and it's still got a bit of tip, tip area. So it's a really nice fin. Uh, as I was saying, you know, the MRs, probably about this about the more the normal size of the little trailers of these the uh the Merrick's a little bit taller but not as big in there's not not as much depth and the uh the power twin is quite similar to this as well so as you can see with Rob's set that's quite different so as I was saying like okay the the front things front fins a bit smaller but the back one's a bit bigger so if you're uh if you're looking for a bit more control and a bit more uh not not quite as far away from the thrust of feeling this this could still be quite good for you uh even up to like i say even up to sort of 80 maybe even 85 kgs you might you might find those all right uh i think they're going to be really good for probably some of the smaller guys uh and like i say you can always play around with those rear trailers or if you go a two plus two quad set you can actually put 
two rear trailers in so maybe for me something like this with two of these mites will be quite good in something like my lost beanbag or if you've got a big round nose fish retro or any of those types of boards they might be worth trying because i ride the uh, in my beanbag around the ride the merricks with two of the rear trailers and that's pretty good so that's why i'm going to give the uh give the machados a go so that is the machado two plus one and uh we'll go and grab the keel and have a look at that so here we go with the Machado keel fins. As you can see, the same nice black fade. We've got the wooden insert. I assume it's probably bamboo, but it's a wooden insert. And uh, again, same as the other ones. It's actually a little bit more flexy than you might expect from something with a wooden insert. So uh, as I was saying, the, uh, the modern keel is currently the biggest keel that FCS2 do. And uh, that's also a very similar, virtually identical template to the uh, Chris Christiansen keel fin. If anyone's in futures or if anyone's, you can still get them in FCS, but you've only got the two small plugs, which I don't personally like. But uh, so yeah, so here's the comparison of the two, as you can probably see even just from here, the uh, modern keel's a tiny bit deeper, but the uh, Machado's actually got a lot more area and it comes back a bit further. So uh, it's a really good fin. So if you're, if you're a smaller guy, you're probably gonna find these enough. And then if you're a bigger guy, maybe sort of 80 kgs plus, and you really want to get that turbo speed and retro grip and drive and hold, you might want to try the Machados. Uh, so yeah, I'll just show you how they compare when you actually overlay them onto this modern keel. So, uh, so that way it'll probably give you an idea of the extra little bit of depth that the modern keel has. Uh, but this way will probably give you an idea of how much extra areas on the back of that Machado keel so uh, yeah, if, you were, if you've already got the modern keel and you're looking for a little bit more surface area and a little bit more drive and a little bit more of, of that full on retro rocket feel, uh, the Machado is probably going to be a really cool one to try and they just look, they look insane and they just look really good. Uh, if you're a bit lighter, I would say probably maybe stick with the modern keel to be honest because uh, if you're under 80 kgs and it's not on a huge board you're probably going to find that plenty of fin for you uh, but yeah great fin they look really good the flex is quite nice uh, yet to try that in my seaside but I've ridden that in the round nose fish retro I've ridden it in my bean bag uh, actually feels really nice it's got good holds got lots of drive it's got pretty decent flow uh, Personally, probably steer towards a quad more myself, but that's that's personal preference. I really like a quad, so you know, you guys that have got a seaside and you really want to try the the retro fast down the line vibe, I think you really enjoy those. Uh, and the modern keel probably plenty as well, especially if you're in a smaller size. I would say if you're under eighty kgs, probably stick with the modern keel to be honest. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Cheers, guys. See ya.